As if we haven't been through enough in 2020, now we have large, aggressive, invasive hornets to deal with. The so-called murder hornets were recently seen in Washington, the first ever sighting in the U.S. Ariana Lake explains what that means for you and the honeybees these hornets are known to attack. As we all head outside to enjoy this gorgeous weather, it's important to keep an eye out for these hornets. It's a large, aggressive hornet. These giant hornets have quite the look at up to two inches long with a stinger that can pierce even a beekeeping suit. And they can sting multiple times like a yellow jacket. They can repeatedly sting you over and over again. So that's a concern. That's just one reason Washington State University professor Dr. Tim Lawrence is warning people about these pests. They're a danger to people and they have an appetite for honeybees. 20 to 30 hornets can wipe out a colony of 30 to 50,000 honeybees within a few hours. Hence the nickname that's spreading all over the internet, murder hornets. I wish they hadn't used the term murder uh, hornet. It's, it's a large, aggressive hornet that we need to deal with. These invasive hornets threaten an already struggling bee population that's responsible for pollinating the crops we grow and eat. Researchers don't know exactly how they came to the U.S. or how widespread they are, but they do know these pests need to be eradicated. The best scenario is we wipe it out before it gets established. You can help the state by letting them know if you see one of these hornets. There's even a free app you can use. It's called Wa Invasives. Just report a sighting, find the Asian giant hornet, and drop a pin. And just like that, you've helped keep the honeybees in our state a little safer. Reporting from home in Spokane, I'm Ariana Lake for News Now.